So now that you've gotten a little bit of a taste about why I'm interested in digital marketing, why I think digital marketing is fascinating and interesting, I hope you'll stick around with me for the rest of the course. Um, I'm going to go through a couple of details now about the course. I'm going to go through some of the main highlights, and I'm going to pull up the syllabus, and we'll go through that as well. And we'll end by talking about um, the major things I'd like you to accomplish before next week. So, first of all, email me anytime, wmrand at ncsu.edu, or you can tweet at me, at Bill Rand. Um, I, you know, I may not respond immediately, uh, but I usually respond within 24 hours. I tend to do a lot of my responding late at night, uh, so don't be surprised if you get emails uh, from me late at night. Um, my office, just in case you happen to be in the Raleigh area and want to stop by, is at 2324 Nelson Hall. Um, and all class content on, will be on Moodle with the videos um, uh, at youtube.com slash Bill Rand, but I'll link to all the videos on the Moodle itself, right? Um, my office hours for this class will be on Wednesdays. They'll be live on YouTube from 12 to 1 on Wednesdays. Not every Wednesday. I'm not going to have one this Wednesday since it's just the beginning of the week. And I probably won't be able to make uh, next week. I'll, I'll make a call about that shortly. Um, but in, in general, that's where they'll be. You can go to youtube.com slash billrand slash live. Uh, feel free to comment on the videos as they're going on. Ask me questions. If you'd rather not uh, have your name be visible, uh, your username on YouTube be visible, you can email me questions ahead of time uh, privately, um, and I'm more than happy to respond to that. Um, just because if you are on there and you're asking me questions, do be aware that your question shows up for everyone to see, not just me, right? Um, those hours, by the way, are my normal hours, uh, but please double check ahead of time. I am also available by appointment if you want to email me and ask me any questions about the class or what's going on or just want to chat about digital marketing in general, feel free uh, to email me or tweet at me at any of those times. Um, the required readings for the class. The required readings will be posted weekly on Moodle. Uh, these will be, I actually don't have like a required textbook that we'll get to that in a section. Uh, session set second, um, but there are news uh, articles, trade articles, academic articles on digital marketing. The first two are already posted. Uh, they're Wall Street Journal articles that I'd like you to start to take a look at, read. Uh, there's videos attached to them. Uh, and your participation in this class is in many ways graded by your ability to comment on those articles uh, during, uh, you know, in, in, the, in the office hours or um, on the forums that I've made available in each of the sections. Um, a highly recommended supplementary textbook is the e-marketing book, The Essential Guide to Online Marketing. Uh, it will complement a lot of what I am talking about in class. And on the syllabus, I've listed the chapters that correspond to the relevant chapters. Um, it's a free online PDF, so you can go ahead and grab it from uh, the link. I put a link up on the Moodle, uh, so click through there. Um, also, since a big part of this is your group project, I highly recommend you stay up to date on what else is going on in digital marketing, interesting areas that you might want to add to your group project. I recommend eMarketer for just stats and interesting information about the, uh, the digital marketing world. Mashable and the Wall Street Journal provide us with some interesting insights into new and uh, innovative ideas. Wired Magazine, for those who aren't familiar, is a tech-oriented magazine that usually has some content on digital marketing. Slashdot, a great old uh, blog that's been around forever um, that kind of covers different areas of digital marketing, among other things that are interested to the techie community. Uh, Fast Company uh, is a great magazine as well. And Marketing Over Coffee is a podcast that I highly like uh, from a, group, a couple of individuals who um, are really down in the trenches when it comes to doing digital marketing. Your grading for this class. 50% of your grade uh, will be from a group grades and 50% will be from individual grades. Your group grades will primarily come from a written group project that will last the course, over the entire course of this class. Um, and 10% will be website and social media prototypes that you develop for that group project, and 10% will be a final group project presentation. And we'll talk more about that next week as we get into it. Individual grades, 10% will be the peer review of your group members for that big group project. So it's, it's part of the group project, but it's an individual grade because you will get it personally. And then we'll have two other assignments in the class, a conceptual assignment and, a part, and an analytical assignment. 
These assignments, you can almost think of them as take-home exams. They'll be announced a week ahead of time before they're due. Uh, you'll have that week to kind of complete them, uh, and then you'll have the, you'll turn them in the, the following week. Um, the conceptual one, as you might guess, will be a little bit more about thinking about the big concept, the big picture of digital marketing, where the analytical one will actually involve you solving some problems uh, with regards to digital marketing. 10% of your grade is participation. That will be measured primarily by your participation in uh, additional activities in the class. So for instance, we're going to do a survey this week, uh, but also in your ability to be an active member on the forums. I highly encourage people to use the forums to discuss the class, to discuss what concepts we're talking about in the class. And so I will be monitoring those forums to see if you're participating or not. And that's the way I will grade your participation in this class. Um, let me stop right there for a split second and go to the syllabus so we can talk a little bit about uh, other details in the class. Okay, I pulled up the uh, syllabus and many of the details here we've already discussed, uh, but I want to make sure that we go through some of them in more detail. Uh, so there's all the contact information for me. Uh, there's the supplementary text as well as a link to it. The course objectives that I mentioned in the first video, and then you know here's where it gets a little different. So here we're talking about what the tentative schedule is. Now, um, in terms of the topics, this is laid out roughly in terms of when I will post the videos, when you'll see the content, things like that. Uh, but you don't have to, for instance, if you don't get all the history of digital view this week, that's fine. You can put some of that off till next week, right? Um, if you don't get all of the um, each of the topics done right on time, but roughly this is the order you should be spending your time on, right? Um, and sometimes this will spill over, right? We might do, you know, you might wind up doing some of the digital history next week, for instance. One of the big first things that's coming up, and I'll mention this again, and when I finish up this video today, uh, but you need to submit your preferred team members by the midnight on January 18th. Um, and so that gives you a week uh, from January 11th, which is kind of roughly when I'm organizing this course around, right? Um, and so by midnight on, on the 18th, I want a list of who you would prefer to work with uh, for this, for your group project. I will then spend that week putting all the teams together. In general, that just means that if you, um, if someone doesn't have a team, I'll put them on a team with somebody else. I would like teams of about five people, but we'll talk again more about that in a little bit. The first major assignment you have is that on February 8th, you need to submit your project introduction and team contract. And the week after that is when your conceptual assignment will be due, right? Um, we then go through the course kind of appropriately. And then on April 19th, we will be doing final projects and final project presentations. Um, and I'll give you some more details about that when we get closer to it. I already talked about the grades and how letters will be assigned. This is important. All assignments are due by 11.55 p.m. on the date listed. Um, in other words, um, if it's due, on, and I have it all synchronized on a Wednesday schedule, and the reason why is because I'm teaching a uh, in-person MBA class on Wednesdays as well. I also felt that that gives you the whole weekend to work on it, plus a couple of days to kind of clean up any little details that you might have. Um, so that's currently the way I have it set up. Uh, you're expected to turn in your assignment by Wednesdays at uh, just before midnight. Um, Moodle won't let me set the deadline at midnight. Um, and so you have to turn them in then. If they're turned in after the deadline, they will be send, assessed a penalty, late penalty at five percentage points a day, right? For the team project, I want you to self-organize into four to five teams. You'll essentially be developing a digital marketing plan for a local small business or not-for-profit organization, they, hopefully one that you have a connection to. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about what that project will actually look at like um, next semester, or next uh, week, sorry. Um, Moodle will be used extensively. All materials are planned on Moodle. Uh, my general idea is that I will have, make sure that any materials are up by Wednesday, Thursday before uh, the class assignment the weekend, right? In general, I hope to have them up actually several weeks ahead of time, but it, you know, when it is possible, I, I will make sure that happens. But if nothing else, you'll see them on that Wednesday that I have listed as the, as the date the materials will be posted. Uh, if you have a question, I suggest that you first check the Moodle and the discussion forums and see, or in the resources there, see if the question is already answered. If it's still not answered, or if you just want to chat with me about digital marketing, feel free to email me. I usually get back within 24 hours, 48 hours on the weekend. 
tend to handle all my email late at night. If you want to set up something that's a little more detailed, like a Skype or face-to-face -face meeting, uh, please contact me through email first and I can have you chew about that. Um, your submission of any assignment indicates that you have neither given nor received unauthorized aid on that assignment. Obviously on group projects, you're working together, but on the conceptual assignment, the analytical assignments, I assume you are working alone. I, of course, we'll make any reasonable accommodations for disabilities and any, uh, and we practice a non-discrimination policy here at C State University. Online class evaluations will be made available uh, during the last week of class, uh, and you'll be contacted about them. And uh, of course, um, this class in particular, because it's online, you may be required to disclose information to your other classmates, so you're well aware of that. In addition, I do want to make a small comment that you know, it is possible that you post content that is visible to the whole world here, right? Um, because you can put up a website, for instance. Nothing in this class absolutely requires you to do so, right? You're not required to post content in order to get your grades uh, to the whole world. But it is possible, especially for things like leaving a comment on the YouTube videos, that you could do so. I want you to be aware of that and make the decisions about how you're going to handle your own privacy appropriately within those spaces. If you have any questions about any of this, feel free to reach out and talk to me. Okay, for next week, um, assuming that you're watching this sometime during uh, the week of uh, January 9th, right? For next week, I want you to complete the survey. So this is, so I've got a chance to introduce myself to you via these videos. I want you to introduce yourself to me. And there's an assignment up in the assignments folder on Moodle where you can click on it and you can fill out a little survey. There's also some interesting, fun little trivia questions about um, the internet and digital media and all that kind of stuff. I'll be discussing those during the videos next week. So I'd love it if you went ahead and just did it all right now so that you don't, um, so that my videos next week don't um, uh, give you insight into how you should correctly answer. There's no right answers. I don't wrong answers. I don't want you to like go through and like Google all these different questions to find out the answer. I want you to answer the best of your knowledge because I find this is a valuable indication of how relevant these different topics are to um, the to the, to the group as a whole, right? Also, every week you're gonna have kind of a, an article. This week it's a Wall Street Journal article on augmented reality. And the reason why I gave that is because I thought it was a great way to talk about what the future of digital media is and how quickly it's changing. So I want you to read the Wall Street Journal article and watch the video. You'll notice also on, in, the, in the Moodle, there is a section where I talk about questions that you might wanna think about for that particular article in those videos, right? Those questions are, um, are prompts, essentially, for you to maybe think about and post some of your thoughts on in the forum. That's the way I'm gonna grade your participation, so make sure you, you think about those things, post on a, on a fairly regular basis to the forums about those different articles. I'm also gonna be discussing that article next week, so I want you to read it and look through it right now. Um, finally, by next week, you need to submit your preferred group team members by January 18th at 11.55 p.m. Ideally, this is five team members, right? Um, so you've come together, you know five, four people you want to work with, and you're just going to submit them. If you don't know five people, that's fine. If you, if, you, if you don't know anyone, that's fine. If that's the case, then submit the assignment with just yourself. If you know one other person you want to work with, submit the assignment with that one other person's name. I don't need five different uh, uh, submissions from, five, from every member of the group. I just need one submission uh, per group in order to solve that. Uh, finally, in terms of supplemental reading, what we've covered this week is kind of uh, chapters uh, one and the appendix of the textbook. Uh, by next week, we'll, we'll, in preparation for next week, go ahead and read through chapters two and three as well. Uh, normally, you won't have three chapter, four chapters of the textbook per week that correspond as a supplemental reading. Usually, it'll only be one or two, uh, but because this week you have this week and next week, it's, it's a little bit more. Um, so that's it for next week. Um, you will also, by the way, receive emails from me on a weekly basis. In fact, hopefully you actually already have because you received the Monday email before this Moodle went up. Uh, and you will also be seeing me via the office hours as well. So pay attention to those different formats to see a different additional information about what's going on. 
Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the history of, of the internet. Um, and those videos, as I mentioned, kind of span this week and next week. So I'm giving you this little insight before I go into that section. So uh, that's it for next week. If you have any questions, email me or tweet at me. Uh, and I look forward to talking to you again.